Ah, good morning. Afternoon, perhaps it's evening. Wherever you are, whatever you are, that is lightning. Bam! Welcome to another Ambush Adventures vlog. Coming to you from Dangerville, USA. Actually, we're in Mount Dora, Florida today. Uh, hopefully I can get this vlog out before that gets too crazy. Let's speed it up, shall we? Okay. Check this out. Train awesomeness. That, my friends, is a 1907 steam locomotive. But not just any steam locomotive. Let's get a little look-see right here, and we will reveal the name. I give you the Orange Blossom Cannonball. That is super cool. Trains are awesome. Now check this out. A little history about this here train. Well, let's go to the stamp, shall we? Baldwin Locomotive Works. Right there, uh, Burnham and Williams. Burnham Williams and Company. Number 29900. Philadelphia, USA, January 1907. Very cool. Let's get a good view of this baby. Because standing on metal tracks in a lightning storm. Safety first, kids. This thing is super cool. Look at the size of these wheels. You're not so standard average human. You guys noticing a bit of a haze around this side of the camera right here? I'm not quite sure if that's my lens. Let me pause real quick. Let's see what's going on there. All right, we're back. Not sure, maybe it's my screen. Not sure if you're seeing that. Guess we'll all find out once it's uploaded. Check this out, you've got the bell up there. Very cool, up there. Let's we'll see, now this baby is wood-fired. This is a wood-fired train, steam locomotive. It's unattended, and you know what that means. We got to get our explorer on. Join me as we go up wet stairs with muddy feet. There's the fuel that makes this baby roll. There's a cooler that's totally out of the time period. If you happen to know what kind of wood this is, other than wet, let me know. Super cool. Let's take another look-see right here. Oh yeah, we got the wood, we got Old Glory. Now this train, by the way, I'm told only runs on Saturday. Runs from Mount Dora over to Tavares. I believe it's pronounced Tavares, Florida. Not sure of the pricing, check it out. Uh, Orange Blossom Cannonball is the name of it. Get your Google on, maybe I'll put the website in the comments or the uh, description below. Let's check this out, man. All right, right in there, there's the furnace. Of course, I got this baby locked up. I don't want people messing around with it, and we're not gonna go messing with stuff. We're just looking at stuff. We're not gonna ruin this for other folks. Of course, you got the engineer can actually get out of here. Both sides, there's a door on either side to actually go down to the front of the uh, the train. We're not gonna go walking through there or anything, because. Again, I don't want to uh, get injured or any of that stuff. This is so cool. Are you digging it? Check this thing out. Yep, get your brakes on, yo. Of course, that's the world's most comfortable chair, and it had a moth in there. 
Oh, look at that. The moth done added up. Sorry for that up close and personal view of this. Mrs. Amos Adventure wanted to take a selfie with me. All right, we're gonna attempt to get back down these stairs. What else would you like to see? I'm trying to think. I'm no train expert, but I do dig trains. Does anyone know what this is right here? Huh? I really, really want to ring that bell. Maybe at the end. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. So tempted. Should I? Uh, you can't vote on it. Because I've either already done it or I haven't. So we're going to go forward in time. Or are we going back to the future? We are going back in the 1907 steam locomotive. Wood-fired. Awesome. Very cool. Check this out. Interesting. You can get up into the engineer's quarters up there. Up there. But this is all locked up here. The old seating quarters. Let's take a look in the window though. That's pretty cool. That is super cool. Seven oh two. Ironically, the area code I used to live in in Vegas, and some dirtbag took a shot at it. Bandits. Now this here train. Oh, let me get off here first, real quick. Give you a little, little info regarding this train. This train is not just, you know, your run-of-the-mill train uh, from 1907. It's actually been used in quite a few movies. And uh, usually they're westerns. And they'll take this thing and they'll ship this baby out. They'll go ahead and uh, ship this baby out to another location, wherever the movie is going to be filmed. Let me pause real quick right here so I can get around this thing. Whoosh. We are back. And the lightning's coming. There's actually a train coming this way. A little info. <laughs> They're going to hook this up. We got to get off this. We got to get off this rail. A little history of this vehicle. This actual train used in such movies you may remember. 310 to Yuma. 310 to Yuma was one of the movies. Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Which is my favorite comedy, one of them of all time. Yeah, they're going to come down and they're going to link up down here, more than likely, with this train and pull it back, possibly. Oh, we better get out of here. We better. Are you an OFT, fellas? So another, uh, another movie this is actually using is True Grit, which a uh, very cool movie. The remake as well. I enjoyed the remake as well. Um, you may have seen the movie with, well, it was Ed Harris and uh, Viggo Mortensen. Um, that was Appaloosa. I haven't seen that movie. And, of course, uh, some not-so-pleasant uh, Florida history was the movie Rosewood. This train was also in that. And when I say this train, I'm not quite certain if it's 100% this car. It is definitely that engine. So what they do is when they ship it out, they'll paint the cars. They may even use some prop cars, obviously, for interior shooting and whatnot. Pretty sure this one is actual period vehicle. That, no doubt, is in all those movies. Now, it's been in like 20 movies. But uh, remember Daniel Day-Lewis was in a movie called There Will Be Blood. I don't know if you saw that or not. 
which is a very weird movie, but cool. Let's take another look. If I can manage to pull my chubbiness up here. Whoa, lightning's kicking. So that's pretty cool. I know you see the reflection of the phone in there. Here's another look. We were over there. We were over there just a few minutes ago. Oh. I'm not so sure-footed in the rain with muddy feet. We were over there. Now we're coming down the other side. And apparently, that train right there is not actually going to be coming this way. It's actually not going to be coming this way. So we're in a... Uh, we're no longer in a precarious position. We're actually in a good position. So I'm going to hop on down off this thing real quick. Hopefully I don't eat it because you can see it's wet and... Ugh, I'm a chubby fella. All right, we're gonna take another look up here. Take a peek into the underbelly, if you will. Now, I have no idea what half these valves do. This, obviously, releases some kind of water because it's all rusted up. Now, train aficionados out there may or may not love this vlog. I don't know what I'm talking about other than I know that this is cool and some of the movies it was in because I'm a movie nerd. But y'all might know. So, hey, any info you can share about this vehicle, please leave them in the comments. Let's all uh, learn something off one another. Check it out again here. can hear Mrs. Amos' adventure in the background, getting her occasional adventure on. So we're gonna take a peek. Ah, there's the, there's the old cable that runs to the other side. That's the whistle right there. Let's take a walk around here. Be right back. Welcome back. You remember I was telling you about inside here, inside the old captain's quarters, if you will, was were these doors here. Now check it out. These doors are on both sides. They open up, and then whoever's in there can actually get off the stump and walk down this right channel and access whatever they need walking along here. And they have full access to these valves along the way. And there's that bell, of course, there's the horn. And I know that you want me to ring that bell. We'll see. Not quite sure what these have to do with the train or this box. The wood, I can see that. Again, we got folks living right here, so get a little shot right there. Post that up. May use that one as the old default. All right, we're gonna be wrapping this up here shortly. Now, if you guys uh, like these vlogs, go ahead and subscribe, share them. Subscriptions are free. It's YouTube, so uh, let's all engage one another. Go ahead, post up some comments, good, bad, ugly, whatever. Just keep it clean and all that stuff, because I like these family friendly. In the event that the comments get all nasty and stuff, I'll probably have to delete them because I really don't want to promote that type of stuff. So uh, any positivity you can throw my way, cool. Any correction, cool. Just keep it civil. All right. Let's get back to the show. To the goodness, if you will. Whoa. That looks like I'm... Is that on my head? All right, I think we need to wrap it up here. We've looked at most of what we can look at. I wish I had more information that was actually factual, 
but I don't know much about it. I think that thing blows out some type of steam, but I'm not certain. Again, there's the other door. There's the bell and the horn. <laughs> it's getting close to that time. It's beginning to look a lot like people coming our way and then leaving the tracks. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That was not a picture flash. That was lightning. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. La bell. That's right, I just threw that out. All right, last look-see. Coming on down. You know what gots to do it. You know what gots to. It's the kid in all of us. Who doesn't love a good train and who doesn't like to ring the bell? Let's get some of this action. Oh yeah. Now we can't pull the old hoo hoo, but we can sure through the diggy dang. All right. This may actually end poorly. You can ring the bell? I don't know if I should ring the bell or not. I don't think you should. I'm waiting to find out what they, what do you think? All of you inside there into the YouTube. I think you want to. Yeah, your name. Awesome, I'm pretty sure I do want to. Mrs. Aimless Adventure down there. Occasional Adventure, I believe, is her channel name. All right. You choose, folks. You got nothing to lose. You're watching this on your phone or your TV. All right. Ready? I really hope it rings. I'm pretty sure it's time to R-U-N-N-O-F-T. And on that note, check us out on the social networks, Aimless Adventures, all one word. Instagram, Facebook, subscribe oh, here, comment ouch. here. Dang. Send the love. Something love you big. guys. <laughs> Take care. Ooh. Cops are probably on their way. Woot, woot, woot. You've literally watched. <laughs> I just got stung. <laughs> My wife just got stung by a wasp or something. Ah. This is getting crazy. I really want to ring the bell again. Almost 18 minutes in. Okay, just to I'm get to that bell. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.